I think many of us can agree there are plenty of interesting people in places around the east. And to help highlight the region, we're launching a new series called People in Places with Pierce. WNCT First Alert Meteorologist Pierce Legion brings us the story of a road sign with a much deeper significance. At the corner of Main Street and Highway 45 in the small community of Swan Quarter, a hand-painted wooden sign takes center stage. When people pull up to the stop sign, that's the first place their eyes look is to see what's the news on Pat's sign. Pat Spencer has run the only gas station in town for several decades. What started out as a political sign on that street corner in front of his business has grown into so much more. We, we whitewashed it after that. We, we put a, a, a birthday sign on there, and then we had everybody that stopped to get gas could take a magic marker and initial it, you know, like we saw it. And the sign just sort of developed from there. Every morning for the past 20 years, letter by letter, Pat paints the news of the day. Birthdays, celebrations, town events, all the while adding his own flair along the way. I know a secret I can't tell. Chuck's bloated gasket and Paula's starting to swell. Sherlyn Carowin has four tractors, two dogs, two grand youngers, one cat, and Fords only, and one good woman for 50 years. You never know what Pat's going to say. Um, it's always going to be funny or it might be sentimental and you just never know. He's a comedian in and of himself. He's always saying something funny so it translates on the sign. And you never know when your name might show up on it. I always have a lot of anticipation leading up to my birthday wondering what Pat's going to say about my birthday. <laughs> Swan Quarter has seen its fair share of storms, hurricanes and floods. Businesses here along Main Street have come and gone, but at least one thing has remained constant here, the sign at Pat Station. It's got so many coats of paint on it that it, it, it doesn't float. I mean, when we had the storm, it, it knocked it over and it separated it, but it stayed right there. It didn't, it didn't go anywhere. It didn't float. The sign remains anchored to this community, just like Pat himself. It's kind of a chore, but when the people ride by and, and, and speak and, and, and like it, you know, that makes it worth it. That's why I'll keep doing it until, until I can't do it anymore. Pat says the sign has fallen in popularity since Facebook became a part of our daily lives. But for the people who still take an extra moment at that stop sign in the middle of town, it's actually kind of like a place like home. I mean, it represents your home because it's always been here. Maybe they stop and glance to stay informed or maybe for the indescribable feeling that there's no place like home. In Swan Quarter, I'm Pierce Legion.